I see. So you protected my sister from wasting her money on worthless trinkets again. It's not worthless. Besides, I got a good deal and made some new friends in the bargain. Wahey! <laughs> Rowan, please look after our guests. It would be my pleasure, sir. I have some matters to attend to, if you'll excuse me. I've got to run, too. Huh? Nature calls. I better leave now before things get messy. So you're on some great journey, right? You simply must tell me all about your travels. Mm, well, um... I've never even been out of this town. I want to hear all about the faraway places you've been. I've never been outside either. But then... Ellie became pals with Jude and everyone. We crossed mighty oceans and explored forbidden forests. We saw giant waves and toadstools that made everyone cry. You actually sailed across the sea, Ellie? I've never even seen the sea before. What was it like? It's vast and wild, teeming with dangerous creatures. There are giant octopuses pretending to be rocks. Rock octopuses? You don't say! And fish and eels and clams. Oh, I've seen clams. Uh, the shells, anyway. They sell shell jewelry in the shops in the plaza. It's all so gorgeous. That sounds really nice. I'll give you one of my favorite pieces as a present next time. As a token of our friendship. Icky clams turned into pretty jewelry? This I gotta see! So giving presents is a way to establish friendship? Uh, why yes. To the giver, a present is a symbol of trust. To the receiver, a present serves as a warm reminder of our friendship. And getting stuff for free doesn't stink either. I see. <laughs> it would appear my young mistress has made some very good friends. Make yourselves at home. Help yourself to tea and treats. I have been in the service of Lord Klein for about two years now. He is a fine ruler, despite his youth. He believes in freedom and equality for his people. If he has any real flaw, it's that he spoils Lady Dressel too much. You can't take your eyes off these things. You that into antiques? No, not particularly. I'm simply fascinated by the illogical proclivity of humans to apply an abstract concept like beauty to everyday objects. That's a 
pretty deep. I've also been thinking about our current predicament. There's something to be said for hiding in plain sight, but we should not tarry here for long. Yeah, we shouldn't overextend our stay. They've been so good to us already. I'm afraid I can't permit you to leave just yet, now that I know it was you who infiltrated the laboratory in Fenmont. What are you talking about? Save your denials. Alvin told me everything. He did what? Now what? Will you hand us over to the military? No. I want to know what you saw in that facility. Rashigal has undergone dramatic changes ever since Noctigal acceded the throne. Even those of us in the six ruling houses are not told of his activities. The military is holding people captive and draining their mana to develop a new weapon. Human experimentation? He would go that far? I'd like to believe you're lying, but all the pieces fit. So Nautical is the man behind the experiments? The King of Rashigal? He would have to be. <sighs> it's hardly hospitable to keep Drissel's friends captive in our home. But you must leave this city at once. Thank you, Lord Klein. Like some of them are your age. Why not try to talk to them? Drissel's house sure is huge. Yeah, this might be bigger than my entire school. Children, go on and ask them. 